Hey everyone, I just thought I might do a quick video of my uh, MK1 2002 Honda Insight. Um, did some modifications to the IMA battery. Um, so, my car particularly has MEMA installed. I'll show you. MEMA system. And I've had MEMA for about a couple weeks. Two, three weeks. And, uh, I was running on my stock IMA battery, and um, you know, as Mike might say, created the MEMA that I have probably lead finger that my battery was pretty much dying really quick. So what I decided to do is I couldn't take it anymore, and uh, <laughs> I have a lot of uh, experience with batteries, e-bikes, brushless controllers, and stuff. So I thought I might take the plunge and modify my battery on the inside. So what I've done here, it's a mess right now, <laughs> but, so there's the back side of the case. There's a positive down there, there's our negative, there's about the middle of the pack. So, for those of you that have taken apart an inside battery and that know a bit about it, there are 20 sticks of 6 nickel metal hydrate cells. And what I've basically done is, instead of using six nickel metal hydrate cells per stick, I'm now using that two lipo cells per stick. So essentially this pack here, which is some Turnergy lipo with some four cells there, which are a little bit different lipos, but they're working, just for testing right now. Um, so basically it's a 40, it's a 40 S2P lipo pack. It's technically what I should say. So basically, again, the two lipo cells per nickel metal hydrate stick is how you should think about it. So they're all connected in series. There's a shunt in here, just covered by my Turnigy uh, shrink wrap. And I've wired in a cycle analyst to work as well. It's still in the very early stages, but I will fix it all. I've rode the car around, and uh, I pulled about now this is not really calibrated 100%, but it should be about 90% accurate, I'd say. So I, it says I burned off 4.34 4 amp hour. You know, don't mind a negative here. I think <laughs> I think I got the shunt wires reversed. That's why it's showing in negatives. But um, yeah, so that's working as well. So if you guys want to know how I did this, I'll do a quick explanation. So again, I have limited knowledge on the inside, but I've learned by taking the battery apart that I believe the, I can't remember if this is the, yeah, BCM, I believe, has four current sensors. So there's one here, you can see. They're different colors as well. So there's like a red, yellow, you notice the shrink wrap on there, green, blue. I'm oh, sorry, I should say, okay, there's green, yellow, white I'm getting confused here, blue, yellow <laughs> okay wait, it's green yellow blue yeah, I'm confusing myself, there's three, three temp no, there's four, yeah, four temperature sensors and then there's one wire here, so you see these two red wires now these two red wires that come off that module um, basically there's two little connectors something like that that come to the end and basically these those two little connectors connect to the PTC strips in the battery so again on each uh, stick of six cells there's a what are called the PTC strips or basically like a, a temperature sensor per the cell so if they overheat it shuts down the I think it limits the current of the controller so so what I've done instead is Instead of using all those PTC strips, which we don't need, as I just added a 25 ohm resistor, which is in the shrink wrap, it's soldered in there, so you can't really see it. So basically that's to fool the battery, saying that the batteries are always at, what I've calculated, room temperature technically. So, you know, basically you're tricking the car to think that nothing's wrong. So that's one mod I had to do. Uh, second mod I had to do is this here so these are all the wires that come off the BCM and basically 
the way I would explain this is that the way the insight pack is set up is that every 16 sorry every 12 cells in the battery there's something to sense the power so basically to, to tell you know what those two so it, it senses every two sticks so basically every six cells it's sensing what the voltage is and what I've done here <laughs> is basically on the side of the battery there's these little capacitor like things which are in there so basically between each sense lead so on the on the Honda inside I believe there's 12 wires there um, two of them I think around the 86 volt mark 86.4 volt mark when I calculated on the nickel metal hydrates which will be around the same point that these two things are so this is a breaker I think it's a 100 amp breaker so it shuts down the battery if there's something wrong so basically there's two sense wires one that goes here and one that goes here I basically tie them in together because technically it's the same lead because these are shorted right now with the breaker on and uh, other than that so uh, basically yeah, the sense wires go every 16 cells is the way I would describe it to you um, you'd have to really look at the side of the, the battery uh, Mike has a picture posted of it on his website to show uh, you know all the voltage is per tap you know what they are and yeah so and essentially so this goes from you know zero volts in the pack which is the white wire to the red one which is the hot lead the, the 144 volt technically I basically calculated everything by using the nickel metal hydrate voltages so I wrote them all down there what they would be now these the term is called I think thermistors from what I read up on they measure at 200 ohms at room temperature but they do they could change in volt in uh, the resistance depending on the heat now there's not really any good explanation on what these exactly are I wish I could show you but there's shrink wrap over it but um, I think you could probably use 200 ohm resistors and you should still get the same results so you probably didn't have to I probably didn't have to remove them from the actual battery but I want to be safe I didn't really want to break anything in my car so a little bit extra work and uh, make sure I'm using the proper parts I don't want to damage anything so yeah um, I don't know if there's anything else I can tell you so uh, so yeah okay well basically these wires so they tap into the balance leads of my light bulbs which are right there so these balance leads those tabs there all across they go to the different voltages so like you know 0, 14 volt I believe there was 20 volt, 1 volt um, uh, 21 volt 36 volt then there's like 50 50 volt you can see it there so basically they, every so many cells I tapped into it to basically you know basically duplicate what it was doing with the nickel metal hydrate battery um, yeah I still have MEMA installed MEMA's working uh, the current problem I'm having right now, which I will get to, I mean, this is really a test to make sure that it is easily possible to do this. Um, problem I'm encountering is that the car only detects 6.5 amp hour out of the battery. Now, I have a couple bars left on my car. I have about four bars on the state of charge. I've used about 4.5 amp hour. Now, I don't know, again, this is probably about 90% accurate, but good enough gives you an idea that uh, of how much capacity I'm pulling in the pack so these batteries are still pretty charged I mean they're 154 they're just over 4 volts each let's just say um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say here um, so basically yeah, I need to trick the state of charge um, basically I need to either get a bo board from Peter there on the Insight Central or I can run and live with the 6.5 amp hour a requirement of the car and continue to use my light bulbs um, but the problem is I can't regen enough now these light bulbs are not really suitable for this car this is more just for testing but they only are able to charge um, or take a charge I should say of around 20 amps and the car can generate a charge of 50 amps so again for testing I know your own is going to be like well you're not supposed to be using them but um, like I realized that it's just <laughs> this is what I had and I didn't want to spend any more money on the battery um, I could technically still use this battery if I wanted to I just have to tr grid charge it pretty much can't really charge it on the car because I'll overcharge it but um, yeah I mean the car will technically work properly if I'm able to use the regen of the vehicle because 
the car to, to, to detect state of charge uses the temperature of the cells plus a current sensor which is on the side of the battery and the current sensor can detect how much uh, energy is going in and out of the pack and that's how it determines the state of charge by temperature and by how much energy is going into the pack so I've used the battery it was pretty much full at one point when I started using it and then it just dropped down because the car is realizing that I'm not actually putting any energy back into the battery through regen which is causing my problem of all my state of charge so low however for experimental purposes I think I got my point across it's about 2 a.m. right now got all working pretty good happy with that uh, if you guys have any questions I'm Steve-O on Insight Central, um, and I'll do my best to uh, help you guys out if you guys have any questions or if anyone else wants to try it out. Thanks.